What's up, everybody? Welcome to the first episode of Studio 214, the show where college students take on bigger than college topics. My name's Malachi, and these are my co hosts, Hello Karen and Cynthia. For this episode, Cynthia, Hello Karen, and I are talking about the highs and lows of high school. What were we known for? Are there any scandals? Find all of that out and more on this episode of Studio 214. So every high school is kind of known for like having an incident that happened. It usually stays in between the walls of the high school, but today we're going to give it to the public. So Karen, which one did you have for your high school? Well, it's, it's funny. Okay, so we had, I was a spectator for this one. Okay. Um, we had, uh, we were all sitting outside one day for outdoor lunch, and I'm just minding my own business, zoning out like I normally do. And out of nowhere, a seagull just slams to the ground. And that no, normally doesn't happen, so I'm just looking around. And a student, I won't name him, but he had thrown a soda bottle, just like launched it and hit the bird, and it flew down and hit the ground, and it didn't make it. And the police wound up showing up, oh and goodness. it was like this whole ordeal. I think we even got out of school early because of it. Just, <laughs> just for a seagull? Because of a seagull. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Yep. So you're saying that the, the guy threw a can at the seagull, and that yes. caused the seagull to go down. Do you know what ever happened to him? Did he get expelled? Yeah, or yeah, I got expelled, and he wound up going to an alternative school here, oh, yeah. here yeah. in Panama City. A different school? Yeah. yeah. That's for a seagull. My yeah. Goodness. It was a big deal because it died and it was on <laughs> purpose. So. Yeah. Oh, okay. I feel like if that happened today, they they would get in trouble, but I don't feel like they yeah. would get, get the whole school like shut down. Like It wouldn't be like a national emergency. But Yeah. That was the 90s. Like, did it have mm -hmm. like a prayer vigil for the seagull? or? Not that I remember. Yeah. You know. But, that, well, you know, th things have changed so much, y'all. <laughs> yeah, we came here to respect the seagull today. Yes. So for mine, um, I was actually kind of involved in it. Um, I mean, it doesn't help that you could see what school I went to on the on the thing. But you know, <laughs> it's fine. It's it's public information now. Um, it's, I didn't. I don't have a record yet, so we're gonna <laughs> talk about it. So every high school has a uh, senior prank. We know this, and for some reason, my high school the past years for senior pranks they went a little too far. So there was like a stigma slash rumor thing where we had to get our senior pranks approved by administration. But that's not a prank. Like that's just kind of like, hey, we're doing this. Yeah, we're doing so, this project. Um, one of the football guys got a key from one of the coaches. I will not list who he is. <laughs> um, got a key from one of the coaches. So we all met in this parking lot and then we unlocked the gate and we went into the school. And they were just doing a bunch of random stuff. Like they took the desks and they saran wrapped them together. They, I remember <laughs> one thing I did, which is, it wasn't even that bad. It was such an easy cleanup because you'll, we'll, you'll see why we had to clean it up. Mm -hmm. um, I took a big old thing of like the bathroom, not toilet paper, but um, paper towels. Mm -hmm. And our hallways were like all connected. So I just like bowling alleyed the thing all the way down. But if I needed to clean it up, I would just wrap it around yeah. my hand, whatever. So, you know, my friend pulls up and as we're doing like the minor inconvenience stuff and I'm about to show him around uh, like what we did and we're outside and I see a big group of like the popular people start like s turning their slow walk, slow stroll into a fast walk and then the fast walk turned into a jog and then that <laughs> jog turned to a sprint. Yeah. And so I looked at one of them. Mind you, I'm not really cool with the cool kids, but I, all, that day we banded together. Yeah. <laughs> we were unified yeah. as the class of 2021. Mm -hmm. And um, I was like, what's going on? And they said, the police are coming. So um, I hit the 50 meter dash to <laughs> that friend that I was talking about earlier. I went to his car and we drove to the Winn-Dixie on 231. And we sat there in the parking lot because you can still see the street that goes to the school. And we saw about like five minutes later, as soon as we parked, everyone's kind of like sitting there, like kind of hiding. Seven or eight police cars going like full speed towards the school. Long story short, um, the cops had to make like a bargain with the principal because the principal showed up and he said that the people that were part of the prank had to come back and clean it up and there would be no like arrest or anything like people got detained like there were like handcuff marks and everything oh my on the people but uh 
we went back, it took 30 minutes to clean up. Like it was not that big of a deal. It literally, there was like Vaseline on door handles that we had to wipe up. And then I just had to pick up the toilet paper. And then we all took a picture together, but I don't have the picture. But <laughs> I just remember like, that was the first like senior memory that I was like, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> like this is not, this is not what I expected. Mm -hmm. Usually senior pranks is like, oh, that's funny. And then you just kind of skip school the next day. So yeah. you don't have to like take claim over it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think, I think I'm lucky to be here, you know, not have a, a record on me. Yeah. Um, my school actually had another scandal, but that kind of goes into our next topic, which is school staff. So let's go into that next topic. So, hello, Karen. What do you have to say about school staff? Well, I went, I had gone to Mosley, and at some point during my uh, adventure, I wound up transitioning to A.D. Harris, and mm -hmm. that's where I had the interesting teachers. We had one teacher that, um, he was great. I mean, he was a really nice, his name was Mr. Dykes, and he would pass around this empty coffee can. It was empty, but we would pass it around, and we were supposed to get inspiration from it. I had never, you know, I, I'd, I guess I, I uh, how do you put it in words? Um, I never found inspiration in the empty can mm. because I just saw it for what it was, an empty can. Yeah, you're getting more literal. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but he was great. You know, there'd be, there'd be times, because I guess he had been to Vietnam, and so some students were a little mean, and he, they'd yell, fire in the hole, and oh my he would like, hit the ground to be under the desk. Yeah, he had a little PTSD. But he was really, really nice. <laughs> Dang. These I think were... it was Mr. Dykes. Might have been Mr. Holt. I should... Either one. But they're both great. <laughs> that's good. I'm glad yeah. that you had a good teacher. But yeah. That's, yeah. That sounds rude. <laughs> that they yeah. were trying to like use his PTSD as a joke. It was A.D. Harris. Yeah. I mean, you know, it was just, it was, that school reminded me of, have you ever seen Dangerous Minds with Michelle Pfeiffer? No, I have not. Okay, well, that's, that's basically what the movie, what the, the school was like, is okay. that school in that movie. You just got to watch know. it. It's where Gangsta's Paradise comes from. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 Good times. I don't know about that. So what about you, Cynthia? Well, I had a guidance counselor that really just did not like any of the kids. Mm -hmm. And um, she's very just... Um, if you were not on the ball by yourself, she was not going to help you that much. Mm -hmm. So, but everybody just did not like her. And she would like walk around the school and she would like, we had a really strict dress code. Yeah. So she would get on a lot of the girls, not the guys, on the girls for their dresses, for their outfits and everything. Mm -hmm. So everyone was always avoiding her. <laughs> but, um... But in, in the school, I had a lot of good teachers, a mm -hmm. lot of good um, uh, teachers. But what was funny is that after my class left, a lot of them just um, retired. Yeah. So we kind of took all the good teachers with they us. They kind of left, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I felt a little bad for, you know, the younger generation, but those teachers were tired. <laughs> yeah, that, that guidance counselor still works there? No, she got into a different position. Okay. And, She's not guidance counseling, but she's like in the office part. Okay. So she's on the way. Is, up. Yeah, she's different. It's different, but she, where she doesn't have to deal with kids, so I guess it's good. Yeah. But yeah. I'm glad so, I, do you still have any kind of contact with any of your administrators or guidance counselors from school? Not really. Um, you, you know, when, once you graduate, you just kind of. But you, I would see them around, you know, the, the town and everything. See them in like Piggly Wiggly or something. Yeah. Yeah. And be like, oh, <laughs> I remember you. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, always tell, tell them, you know, what's going on with my life and what I'm doing now. And they are always such just happy people. So. I don't. I don't. I feel like if I was a teacher, I would not be able to memorize that many people. I mean, obviously, I would <laughs> have to memorize like the key couple. Like, oh, I remember he was like a troublemaker yeah. or whatever. But like. When I see like people from elementary school, like teachers from elementary school, they're like, oh, Malachi. I'm like, how yeah. do you remember me? Yeah. Like, I understand that we, I kind of, at least for me, I went to the same branch of schools. So it kind of was easier for people to remember me. Yeah. But like, I remember I went to Highland Park for third grade because I was on the waiting list for Bay Haven. And I saw my third grade teacher. I think her name was Miss Lewis. And she, we were in Publix. And she saw me and she's like, did I used to teach you? And I was like, yes, but I was like this tall. Yeah. Like, how do you remember me? 
she was like, I remember you. And I was like, cool. Uh, like, I don't know what to talk about now, but like, it's cool that you remember me. I just don't understand how people can do that. Maybe it's just like key moments or something. I don't remember yesterday. Yeah. So I don't know how they remember a whole class of people. Yeah. Hopefully I wasn't the bad person. <laughs> Maybe they wouldn't. The troublemaker. Yeah. Speaking of troublemakers, yeah. my teachers, uh, specifically in my junior year, they, some of them were good, some of them were not so good. They were known for having specific characteristics about them. And so there was a rumor that spread around the school that my English teacher, I won't name her, had a TikTok. And, you know, once we get a hold of that social media, it is over for y'all. <laughs> so um, we found it. We found the TikTok. And, you know, she was posting her little, like, Facebook quips, like, oh, like, have a good day. You're going to, like, rule the day. And then one day she took another teacher, which was known for teaching, like, history, psychology, and they had this sound that I'm not going to be able to quote, but um, it was saying basically, like, if you don't like us, then there's the door, and then it cusses at the person that's directed to. And so then I remember I was in the person's class that had the TikTok, and the principal walked in and was like, Mm -hmm. come here, you know? (laughs) And a week later, both teachers were fired on the spot because they were directing that TikTok video to one of the fellow teachers, which is one of the nicest teachers out there. Shout out Miss Vaughn, if you're watching. <laughs> uh, love you. Yeah. But uh, they d- targeted her on the video, and it was like a kind of a form of cyberbullying, which I thought was crazy because usually it's the students, especially like when I was growing up, social media and technology were such a like staple in high school. Like you don't really talk to each other and like handle it like face to face. There weren't no fights at my school. Like literal fights but on Instagram oh they the fingers were active you know but um yeah I thought it was crazy that they acted so fast and then uh the teacher that got targeted Miss Vaughn she actually had to teach the rest of our class and then she mm-hmm. actually like graded the essays that weren't graded and all that stuff and she made it easy to pass it actually was a college class so like I probably wouldn't be here filming this <laughs> if uh that whole situation didn't happen so shout out to everyone you know I know y'all aren't working at that school no more, but thank you. So, because I got that college credit. Yeah. So, uh, it's a silver lining. Yeah. The whole yeah you know, I, I try to think of the, the bad situations a glass half full type thing. Mm-hmm. But there, there were some good times at the at the school, uh, and I think that's what we're gonna go into next is the good times that happened at high school. So, hello, Karen. What did you have as your your my, little my good favorite times. moments. Yeah, what were your favorite moments? Again, going to going to Eddie Harris again. You know that school. It, 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 I talk about it like it was rough. It was, but there was some good times too. Mm-hmm. So my favorite, my favorite part of going to that school was we had a period. We at Mosley we had four periods. You yeah. Know, four periods a day plus your lunch. At Eddie Harris we had six. Mm-hmm. One of those was called social. And you got a good grade. You got graded based upon your ability to socialize. Okay. Yeah. So we would, I'm not even kidding you. Like, we would be released from, like, fifth period. We'd go to sixth period social that was outside in the courtyard and get drinks, snacks, whatever, and socialize. That is For cool. an hour. Like, that's, that's cool. That was the, the whole point of that whole entire class was to just go outside and socialize. And I loved it. No. Oh, it was great. Were y'all ate. assigned to... Talk to different people, or was it more just like hang just out with go your friends? Talk. Yeah, yeah, just go talk. Like, not anybody specific. There was no, no assignments, no rules, no nothing. You just, if you participated, you got an A. Dang. Oh, I loved it. I'm I feel like they should you. have that at every school. At every school, along with nap time. Yes. 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 <laughs> Telling you. We're gonna turn this show into a political campaign. Yes. For nap, nap time and social and socializing. Yes. yes. Take two of take. Language arts and history out. We don't need to learn about that. We can learn about that later on Facebook. We, we don't need Google, that. You know? Yeah, we got Google. You know, math. Like I don't remember anything that I learned in math. Again, you know, I know the basics, but now I don't need to know like the the equilibrium and stuff like that. No. Some of those I can't even remember. See, I don't even remember. Exactly. Sorry. But you need to know social skills. So, what about you, Cynthia? Well, for mine. Um, I forgot. No, you're good. <laughs> um, 
not that many good times at uh, your high school no, or anything? No, uh, I had tons of good times. Um, I was in a lot of clubs. Mm-hmm. I was in, oh, I was in so many clubs. So um, I was very active in the school, going from um, this club to this club. And um, also, we had really big um, homecoming, mm-hmm. um, like the whole um, pep rallies, and we had parades, and just we had every homecoming was themed. So our for our senior year of homecoming was um, we're dying to graduate. Yeah. So all of us were just um, we kind of uh, made all of us look like we were dead. Mm-hmm. So like how I did for mine was I made like a gunshot and just blood all <laughs> over my shirt and then blood all over my hair and in my face and like the whole all of my grade was just looked like just dead zombies. Yeah. <laughs> so um, that was super fun and um, along with like um, all of like the clubs because I was in a JRTC mm-hmm. and like book club and um a key club and beta club yeah Oof, but <laughs> book club like um i was a big part of book club because uh i was one of the like officers helping yeah. out with all the stuff so we made parties for after we were done with the book okay so like we read like you know the harry potter books we read um divergent we read um Oh, I forget. But um, well, we would dress up. Yeah. So for the Harry Potter, we did a whole, um, just a party. So uh, I dressed up as like the fat lady in the in the portrait, mm-hmm. and um, my teacher dressed up as one of the professors, um, and just had a whole shit cool. dig. So yeah. it was super fun. That's cool, especially that the the teacher was involved in clubs because like when yeah. I went to high school. There were clubs, but the teachers, it kind of felt like they were, like, it was just, like, an extra thing for them that they weren't really focused on. It was more of, like, oh, I'm just the sponsor, so I have to pay for stuff. Yeah. There was only one that was very, very serious, which was called um, Mu Alpha Theta, which was, like, a math honor society. Um, And she, the sponsor, I guess, is, she was very serious about, like, you have to show up and you have to tutor people like, you have to be very adamant about that. Like, she got mm-hmm. into a little beef with the band director because I was in band. And we had practices on every Tuesdays and Thursdays. Well, the tutor days were on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Mm. And so they went back and forth on which one was more important, being the tutor for your honor society or making it to band practice. Me, personally, I could care less. Y'all could fight <laughs> over it in, like, a custody battle. Like, you can yeah. have me this week, and then the next week I can be at band. Whatever. <laughs> you know, whatever you need me, I'll be there. But... Uh, for me, high school was pretty pretty good. Um, we were kind of known as like, we didn't have like a staple thing, other than I mean the senior prank, but we don't talk about that. Uh, we were kind of known as the class that kind of made it through because my sophomore year we had the hurricane that everyone knows about, Category Five hurricane, took us out. The school basically got destroyed, so they had to build it back, and then we came back the latter half of the sophomore year, and then junior year. We made it through the fall, everything was well, we're on the up and up, and then COVID hit, so then we had to go back online, and then um, senior year, half of it was like, we had to do the masks, and I remember my senior year band practice uh, during summer, I got elected as the drum major, and I was super, super excited, I had been practicing the music, because we do competitions, and then most of the competitions got canceled, so then he had to change the whole show, Hmm. like right before we started. and then uh, we had to like social, we tried to social distance while making a show in two weeks. I don't know how we did it, but all of senior year, somehow we got through it. Somehow we graduated. I remember on my shirt, it said like class of 2021, get us out of here or something like that. <laughs> because like you have the class of 2020 who <clears throat> their senior year was COVID or you have like the class of 2018 who their senior year was uh, the hurricane. Mm but they didn't have to go to high school after they just left so they they claim that as like their personality trait which is it's good it's good like i'm not i'm not degrading the fact that we all went through stuff during high school but once they graduated they were up and out Mm -hmm. we had to still we were the first class to still have to go through with it and see the aftermath of it Mm -hmm. but 
I it was pretty good, especially senior year. They tried to make it easy on us. They gave us a lot of things, even though a lot of stuff got canceled. Like a lot of classes had um, grad bash where you go to Universal with all the seniors and they oh. locked down. And yeah, they they uh, canceled. Well, they didn't cancel it. We decided to not go mm -hmm. because of COVID regulations. But one of the best things, which will be my final point for this one, is um, we had this thing called Project Graduation. I don't know if y'all had it. Yeah. Um, so after you graduate, you would go home and change out of your graduation clothes and you would go to the gym mm -hmm. at like midnight, 1 a.m., which I don't know why I did this. So I was like, <laughs> well, I, I, I only went there because I knew I heard a rumor that they give out like good prizes. Like mm -hmm. a couple years ago, they gave out like a Disney trip and then they gave out like a canoe, which I don't know why. Like, how am I going to take a canoe home after? Disney yeah, or yeah, like a Disney trip. Yeah, I'm snagging that. Yeah. So you go there. Um, and they give you like a ticket and there's like a raffle, but then like, you know, you're playing games, they got music, it's a cool vibe. And then you get on a bus mm. and you don't know where you're going. So we got, yeah, we got on a bus, hot, no AC, we're sweating. Of course. <laughs> we're going like across the bridge, we're going to the beach side. I'm like, where are we going to? We rented out Rocket Lanes, mm. which is like the bowling alley on the beach. Yeah. Um, and then they they were like yelling at us over the mic. They're like, come get your arcade like gift cards. Like we have all this money we spent on the gift cards and none of y'all wanna play arcade games, come on. <laughs> and we were there till five in the morning after Whoa. graduation. Like they held us hostage. Jeez. Luckily, I mean, you can tell by the shirt kind of, I love bowling. Mm -hmm. So I was getting every, uh, there were people sleeping like on the, <laughs> the couches next to the bowling alley. But I was like, all right, anyone can get it. Like this is the last time I'm gonna see all y'all. So y'all can come over here and we play. You were playing, yeah. and I'm getting a high 100 <laughs> score, and you know I'm gonna like dance in your face. Yes. At 4 a.m. 4 a.m. I was ruthless, but yeah, <laughs> I think senior year was pretty fun. Um, that kind of made my high school. I'm glad that you had a good guidance yeah. counselor, and then I'm glad that you had teachers that inspired you. Yes. Even though the students made me want to, you know, with everything that you were talking about, like going through. Um, the pandemic, you know, Hurricane Michael and the pandemic, mm -hmm. you know, that's history. Would you, but and to both of you, yeah. if you had a chance to go back and do it all over again, exactly the same way, would you? I think so. Uh, for my years, because uh, I'm class of 2018, mm -hmm. so um, I did go through Michael, but not as bad as you guys, because yeah. um, we were not really affected by the hurricane but um it it was like my journey through high school was good because we um we kind of grew up with each other so all of my classmates you know so I've seen them since they were little like almost little babies mm -hmm. so we had a lot of unity and a lot of um just good vibes through the year so we didn't have any bullies uh, we did have fights, but I mean, every school has fights. Yeah. Yeah. So, but um, I, I would do it again. What about you, Malachi? I said, for me, I would do it again because I feel like it developed who I am as a person. I feel like if I didn't go through high school, I wouldn't have met the friends that made me who I am today. Mm -hmm. But the workload, I don't, I don't know. Like the workload at high school kind of trained me for now to be able to like multi manage, but. Um, I don't know, it's four years. It's a long yeah. commitment. And those are like the most, argu arguably it's the most developmental mm -hmm. years of your life. So, I don't know. I would, I would probably change some things about it though. Yeah. I don't know. I'd probably go to like a public school because I went to a charter school. <laughs> so they're kind of like locked in on some stuff. Like mm. if you didn't have your shirt tucked in, you would get, sometimes you get sent home. Like they were strict about it. Wow. So like I, I would try, I would go back in time and then go to Mosley just to see like the what the difference would be and yeah. like how would I be today and kind of do that yeah. but that would be cool because like when I went to school the only high schools that we had yes I'm old were <laughs> Mosley Bay and Rutherford yeah that was it there yeah. was no Arnold there was no Bozeman there was no North Bay Haven mm. none of that so yeah. it, it's interesting it's and interesting it's, to hear you know to hear how, how things have changed yeah and it's still growing yeah there's still gonna be more schools I hear a lot of schools getting built on the beach and I'm like I've never heard of that mm -hmm. And it's just going to keep on growing and growing. Hopefully it stops, though, because I don't need more people. There was a town. rumor when I was in high school back in the 90s. There was a, they were going to be building a high school out um, on Star Avenue. They were also supposed to build a Six Flags, but that never happened. <laughs> yeah. 
A Six Flags in Panama City? Yeah, they were going <laughs> to build one on Star Avenue. Dang. Back wow. like in the 90s. It had, they talked about it for a short, short, short period of time. And now that turned into the Bay County County Fair, which is spawn. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah. All right, I think that's going to be it for this episode of Studio 214. Um, tune in next week where we're going to be talking about our favorite music, our music artists, yeah. uh, our favorite albums, everything like that. Uh, so thank you for joining us. I'll see you all next time.